So we've done one fork already. Uh, found out factory fork oil was a four weight. So four weight fork oil, we are now gonna try 10 weight. Um, Travis had originally ran four weight and then we went, or then he went to a five weight, is that right? Yeah, five weight. Um, but he still finds his suspension really soft. So we are going to run a 10 weight. Well, we've just run 10 weight in one fork. We're gonna run it in the other fork now and then bleed it up and see what sort of difference that makes. But at the moment, it looks like it's looking nice and stiff. So it's hard to find the information we want when you're trying to find stuff on doing nose wheelies because not a lot of people have that information published. So hopefully, in some weeks to come, we can uh, publish some more information that you guys will be able to use for your own stunting. So we've used our soft jaws now, clamped the top of the, uh, the fork tube in, in place and crack that top cap. So the good thing about these springs is being a cartridge system, they're not under a lot of tension. You can literally undo them by hand. And these are very notchy. So the whole reason we're going through and changing this is purely because the front forks are really, 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 really notchy. And we couldn't work out why. So we figured the first point of contact would be change the fork oil. And as you can see, it's definitely got the thinner fork oil in it. But this one definitely feels notchy. Alright, so now that we've got this clamped in the vise, we've got the fork upside down and we're actually bleeding or pumping through its range of motion to get as much of that old fork oil out. Once it's off, I'll actually pump through the cartridge and try and bleed a little bit more out of that. But get as much as you can out. So that looks pretty good. Once I've done that, I'm gonna unclamp the, uh, the fork. Turn it upside down. Just make sure there's no oil left in the system. I feel there's almost none there. It's all spring. Looks like we've got all the oil there, beautiful. So we've got a total of 610 mils that we're going to pour into this bad boy. Uh, our container only goes to 500, which is sick. So we'll, um, we'll get that one poured in and we'll top it up with the other 110, or the remainder 110 mil. Bring the slide up a little bit. Keep it on an angle. And as you're pouring, try not to miss the uh, sleeve like I just did. Um, but the springs will actually allow it to guide its way into the, uh, into the fork tube, so. Do your best not to make a mess. Get as much fluid as you can in there. Hundred and ten mil. Hundred 
spill on that. Spill a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's do our best to get that all in there. All right, so what we've done now is we've filled all the 610 mil of oil in and we're just pumping the sleeve to basically bleed it and make sure there's no air bubbles in there. And also do not forget to bleed the cartridge. You can hear all the sloshing going on. Amazing. That's what you don't do, guys. How good. Send your tools flying everywhere. So now she's bled, given a good 10 to 12 pumps, screw this top piece back in and make sure to tighten that up with your specialty tool. We, um, we've uh, picked ours up from uh, Motion Pro, it's the 50 mil uh, aluminium spanner so you don't damage anything. Beautiful. All right, so one of the main issues or the reasons why we pulled these forks apart was we had a notchy feeling at the top inch or two inches. It was not consistent. Sometimes it would dive, sometimes it wouldn't, and it was just, it was scary. So basically this fresh oil and it's moving smooth as. So let's get her back in and see how she rides, but that's a huge difference already. Gently slide these back through the triple trees, being careful not to damage anything. And we are also going to set our triple trees to of the three lines marked at the top of the uh, of the fork tubes. We are going to go into the middle of those three which is what we've set the other fork to. So always support the fork until you've nipped them up. Don't want them dropping out. And then make sure to torque them up. for the torque up the bolts. So 15 newton meters for the lower triple clamp bolts. Go back and forth a couple times. And then we move it up to 20 newton meters for the, for the upper uh, triple clamp bolt. Beautiful. So always make sure to torque up the bolts. So 15 newton meters for the lower triple clamp bolts. Go back and forth a couple times. Better to be safe than sorry. And then we move it up to 20 newton meters for the for the upper uh, triple clamp 
bolt. Beautiful. All right, so now we've got everything back together. We've got both forks rebuilt and they're feeling really, really nice. So basically once we've got everything bolted back together to center the wheel to make sure that the brake disc to pads are completely lined up and everything's all square on the front end, we actually will leave our pinch bolts here loose, as you can see. We've torqued up our axle, uh, the axle nut, so the axle is out to torque, uh, but we've got both pinch bolt sides loose and we basically run through this procedure of rolling the bike forward and grabbing the front brakes a few times to line that disc. And with the bike where it is, get these nipped up. So with your torque wrench, make sure to go back through and torque the uh, pinch bolts up. And that's to 15 Newton, uh, 15 Newton meters for this bike. Our famous tuk tuk. And to finish it off, back 3D, axle sliders slide straight through. And we'll nip them up. Beautiful. There we have it. Use code Travis for 10% off.